I'm gonna quickly show you guys what I recommend doing in uh, your water changes or just every so often. It's gonna be siphoning the sand bed, pretty much getting it turned over and pulling out any bad debris that's accumulated in the tank. Obviously this tank is a newer tank, so there really isn't gonna be much debris, uh, but you're still gonna be seeing a lot of dust come out of it because it is a newer tank. But yeah, I highly recommend this just so uh, you don't build up any bad gases, bad bacteria on the bottom of the sand bed. Uh, in my opinion, this just gives you a little bit of a healthier reef tank if you ask me. So getting this started is very simple. Get whatever you're going to be using to siphon out. Hopefully it has an attachment to stir up the sand like this one does. And it's very straightforward after that. And kind of just start uh, here digging in the sand. Now you will see the sand start to shoot up. This is when you pinch the line to obviously stop some of the suction. It allows the sand to fall back. And then you start again, pinch it, so on and so forth. One thing to look out. This method I typically won't recommend if you have a thick, thick sand bed I think I would say anything more than two inches um, I've very rarely seen people that run sand beds like that a lot of people that do are old-time reefers uh, just because they see the benefits which there are some benefits but we're not going to talk about running a thick sand bed so if you are doing this I just recommend doing this if you have no thicker than about a two inch sand bed also if you've never done this in your tank uh, I recommend you start uh, in quarters of your tank so don't do the whole thing because in doing this, what you're going to do, you're going to stir up some nutrients, maybe some gases that have built up um, in the sand bed that are trapped. The last thing I want you to do is have a nitrate phosphate spike and your tank not to have a good day. So if you are going to do this, don't worry about it. If you've never done it, just do it in small sections at a time. Today, just focus on one quarter of the tank. Next time, do the next quarter, the last quarter, and the final quarter. Um, again, with uh, every water change. If you do do this often, you can do what I do. I do my whole sand bed all at once because I always do it. Um, I saw great results in my 45 tank. More importantly, people always ask me how I maintained a white sand bed. Not only did I have a sand sifting goby, uh, Nasiris snails, anything of that sort, any inverts or fish that help you turn over while having manual labor come in and help, it's a huge benefit. And in my opinion, it's a way to keep a very uh, healthy sand bed. So yeah. There's really no trick to it. Like I said, it's just very straightforward, uh, very simple uh, to do. Generally speaking, if you are doing water changes on your tank, you don't have to do this every time, every month or two months. Uh, you know, you can get away with. Of course, if you want to do it every time you do a water change, by all means, go ahead and do it. Uh, but it's not necessary. You will notice also, if you've never done this at the beginning, you're going to get a lot of fine dust particles in your tank. You're probably watching me here and saying well, there's very few particles coming up. The reason for that, and it's actually the main reason why I use carob sea sand, especially the, the live sand, it has very little particles in it. If you use dry sand, even the carob sea brand, it has tons of dust inside. They do a great job of rinsing it if you do get the live sand. As you can see here, there's not very much dust uh, being turned up. But if you do get a lot of dust, again, don't worry about it. Um, this is also why I recommend you, you doing it in quarters at a time and eventually you'll have the whole tank done and then you can do the whole sand bed and be good with it. There's really no bad side effects to this. Like I said, the only way you can encounter a problem is if you do this and you've never done it and you do the whole sand bed all at once and you have about a two inch sand bed, you can introduce some nutrients into the tank. If this does happen for any reason, a quick fix is just going to do the next day or the following day uh, to do another water change. That'll just take out the pollutants in the water, the nitrates and phosphates, and you should be back on track. So don't freak out if you do get a spike. I've recommended this to tons of people. They've never gotten a spike. So I don't think you will, again, if you follow my principles. So guys, that's going to be it as far as the sand bed is concerned. One little cool thing I wanted to show you guys before we end this video these mollies in here, again, these are freshwater mollies. I acclimated them salt water. But these guys have been breeding like crazy. Look at all the babies that have actually fallen down into the sump. Um, hopefully they make it. Um, you know, I'm kind of just letting Mother Nature do her thing. If they survive, they survive. If they don't, they don't. Uh, but they should be fine here. This is a low flow area. This is where the refugium is going to be. So I actually think they have a great shot of making it. Hopefully they do. Um, if they do make it, I don't know, maybe we can leave these guys in the tanks um, as some of the first born inhabitants uh, of this reef tank. 
So guys, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys got some really cool tips. More importantly, I hope I answered the question for a lot of you that are always asking me, DMing me, how I maintain and what I recommend to have a white sand bed. One of them is what I showed here. Number two is to have a sand sifting goby. Number three, get some Nasara snails. There's also uh, starfish that go in the sand. Uh, any of those is obviously going to help. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down in the comment box below. I thank each and every one of you very much for watching. As always, happy reefing.